today's t-shirt. White chocolate chip macadamia. Um, just uh, waiting for the computer to boot up. Um, I was uh, telling my mom a story about uh, many years ago at Halloween. I had uh, carved um, the Microsoft logo on one pumpkin and XP on a smaller pumpkin that sat beside it uh, because the operating system had been announced and hadn't been released yet. Um, so it was actually uh, the most popular set of pumpkins um, on the house that year. Um, today has been um, actually pretty intensive. I was out of the house for almost five hours. I had a fantastic time with my mom and uh, then with my dad at my parents' house um, doing the garden segments uh, with my mom uh, really lets me know where I get it from and uh, <laughs> um, anyways today I think uh, August uh, 21st 2013 is the first day I can say that today I actually had fun I uh, really enjoyed uh, driving the uh, the loaner vehicle, and that is a completely new experience for me because I get um, uh, normally it's a, a, a smaller vehicle than what I have, and I don't like being in small vehicles. And um, uh, it comes it stems from fears of uh, car accidents, and I've actually been in quite a few uh, in the larger vehicles that I've been in, um, a GMC Sierra 2500, and um, uh, Buick Century that I had. You know, actually, it's funny, most of the cars I've ever owned have actually been GM. Um, but I was so upset when they cancelled uh, Saturn in Canada, and um, that uh, I mean, I'm not looking for a car, but um, I actually cancelled uh, getting GM points even just because I just I can't see myself. Ugh. <sighs> oh. I um I talk a lot in in terms of uh movies, uh songs, uh companies because these are the last common points of reference that I had uh to reality and I was uh, telling my parents the joke about one of the first memes I created on Facebook was the uh my doctor said I had a psychotic break with reality but uh I've never been that attached to reality in the first place. <laughs> uh it's part of that is that being that writer outside observer and um, just from the very extroverted personality that I used to have, um, as uh, you can see from the various pictures and uh, things that I share uh, from my photo albums. And um, I didn't get to the topic I planned. I ended up going off on a tangent instead. But you know that's actually a complete thought and uh, not a bad video in and of itself. So. Uh, nice documentation at the end of the thought process trailing off. Um, I have actually intentionally uh, put blocks and shortcuts um, images in my mind that I use to cut off uh, certain uh, to cut off the triggering and uh, to manage and uh, be mindful. Um, oh, I've only got uh, four minutes. So I'm actually still good. Um, I try to keep it so the videos don't uh, break anymore and each one is a complete one and uh, to try to make shorter videos um, also as a part of the mindfulness and cutting it up and uh, putting in more breaks and mostly breaths um, because I get excited my mind starts racing and this has always been a big challenge for me is uh, with my handwriting uh, being as poor and as scrawl as it is is because my hand tries to keep up with my mind and uh, having been a legal secretary um, and having done dicta typing um, it's very easy to process um, streams of text without without taking it in and that it's actually um, because you can't really get involved with um, what's being said you've just got to get the words out and you can't think about what they mean and it's a very different skill set from uh, you know being a poet and responding to words in that economical meaning nuanced rich with symbolism so part of it is actually been rebalancing skills and processing okay I'm feeling a lot of uh, shifting in my uh, fluttering and uh, 
As I said that part about the different modes of thought, I could actually feel my brain um, then actually reconciling them. So now I can actually transition. I've been sort of operating without a clutch <laughs> in, uh, in, in car terms. Um, I, uh, I actually, uh, actually that's a good one. Um, one of the first vehicles I had was actually a, a, a Nissan King Cab uh, small pickup truck. And uh, the uh, the clutch plate was actually worn so thin that the guys could see through it. They said they'd never seen a transparent clutch plate before. I could actually start that thing in third gear. And, you know, so uh, I, I actually try to do a lot better maintenance and uh, on, on cars, which is why mine is uh, back in the shop. And uh, I always have a good time at Springman Saab when I go there. And... Uh, um, I shot some more video and I'll be blogging about that and um, had a fun time at the two E's and uh, got a lot of footage and um, got a lot of, lot of uh, quick shots, you know, so I could talk, uh, I can create a lot of blogs from that. Um, when I go out I try to maximize uh, what I do and uh, I had talked about the conversation I had with the lady at the IHOP on another video and, you know, she can't breathe because, you know, she's got a lung uh, disabling problems, so she's having to use oxygen, but I'm actually constantly suppressing hyperventilating and um, because I'm I'm constantly managing, I'm right now this moment managing a panic attack and um, part of that is uh, because today I had so much fun um, from what I did, hanging out with my parents um, getting a lot of um, a lot of nice great footage of my mom's garden and my mom talking about my garden and uh, talking about her garden, <laughs> and um, I just feel like today I accomplished things, I was able to really communicate and really connect in conversations, and, um, you know, in a way, the, the lady at the IHOP that I talked to as we were leaving and they were coming in, um, you know, each of us having a different chronic condition that relates to a same set of symptoms, you know, she had never, her whole posture and being changed from her conversation from her side, just because the people around her really don't understand what she goes through and so for her companion to hear me you know just rattle off oh my gosh you know and just instantly pay attention to her and um, and completely understand and validate and reflect um, back her experience and connect it to my own in a way that let her really understand that I knew what she meant and so just to see that rush of validation and acknowledgement go through her and it just you know I think we both came a little a little better for that, um, you know, random connection. <laughs>